welcome back guys to my channel Ryan's TV here for today's video I'm gonna teach you how to install turbo timer right so let's do it guys yes guys so si turbo timer uh, ang trabaho ni turbo timer yan 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 <laughs> ang trabaho ni turbo timer is to cool down yung oil natin once na nag park tayo so uh, we need at least 3 minutes para lang ma-cool down natin yung oil bago natin patayin yung engine kasi uh, for it's not good promise it's not good for the engine na galing ka sa high torque o RPM uh, tapos bigla mong sa shutdown yung engine natin so basically uh, turbo timer was created for the safety of our engine ngayon uh, yun yung yung oil engine oil na stuck in between dun sa ating uh, uh, engine na uh, pag enough mo yung engine mo is hot yung kabila tapos yung kabila ganun kailangan cool down so I think mas sabi ng iba kasi ano eh uh, yung going to your parking lot is uh, one minute ganon nag cool down na siya pero para sa akin eh hindi pa rin enough yun para mag cool down yung engine well scientifically speaking maybe or uh, sa mga engineers they could say they could more explain pero I think uh, simple lang naman yung logic uh Galing ka sa mahabang biyahe, tapos bigla mong papatayin, di ba parang di naman maganda. So, for me, testing lang para at least ma magkaroon ng uh, healthy engine yung ating Fortu Toyota Fortuner 2008. Kasi di ba, prevention is better than cure. Tama? So, yun guys. Uh, I'll let you know later after namin ma-install to. Alright? So yun guys, yung mga tools natin para sa pag-install. So yun yung screwdriver, cutter. Tapos yung ano, guys, ito yung legend. <laughs> yung tester niya guys. Yan. Tapos ito na yung turbo timer natin turbo timer so ano siyang mga selectors right so ito yung cartridge nya guys yan so tara install na natin first thing first guys tatanggalin natin yung uh, mga plastic covers ng ating mga ng ating uh, driver side so to reach the electronic parts of it and then going to install it step by step there you go guys after getting ignition switch plan ni kuyang i-test yung ating mga wires para matrace natin yung pwedeng maging possible na connection Guys, install na natin yung ating pinaka supply for turbo timer. It's gonna be yung dun sa may hidden part ng ating driver seat dashboard. Yeah. 
Yun guys, so uh, na-install na natin yung uh, uh, HKS Turbo Timer natin 90% So, ito yung supply Tapos din meron siyang wire Yung wire na to will go through there Yun Alright So, ang ginawa natin guys Yan Si Si red uh, wire will come into red black uh, main live wire coming from the battery. All right, so yun yun. Talagay natin si red, ayon si red, and then si green. Uh, yung key on natin, we're going to connect it sa black color. Toyota Fortuner 2000 ito guys ha, yun connect mo siya dyan right? then yung blue color yung accessories i-coconnect mo siya sa blue and red right? tapos hahanapan natin to ng ground somewhere uh, itong ground na to somewhere baka dito yan, pwede yan and then merong tricky sa connector, connection nito guys kasi meron tayo supply na uh, connector na to connected siya doon sa green na yon sa ano kasi supposedly dapat sa handbrake to but uh, pag kinonnect mo siya doon sa handbrake natin uh, baka pag uh, hindi ta nakalimutan natin mag handbrake mamatay na siya bigla guys hindi ka pa nakakalabas ng car so yun guys update ko kayo uh, after this right so HKS Turbo Made in Japan guys So yun so, uh, Personal choice ko lang Pero if you you prefer Another brand You can may, you can do it yourself right Yun guys uh, Adarating lang natin Galing sa market So natest, Tinest ko na siya So yan uh, Nakakabit na yung ating uh, Turbo timer And There you go so, yun siya guys. So, yung makikita nyo, nakaset siya ng 10 seconds, pero isaset natin siya ng 2 minutes. Alright? So, dito, makikita mo yung yung uh, voltage meter. Meron siyang, uh, meron siyang features na voltage meter. So, additional features yan sa HKS. Alright? So, since nakaset tayo ng na uh, uh, 2 minutes guys Ayan. so ang gawin natin off natin yung aircon Ayan. off off tapos uh, engine off so yan tanggal na engine on natin and then lalabas tayo guys And then, yun na, timer starts na. So, meron siyang 1.45 uh, seconds. Ayan guys. So, ang special features nito guys. So, papatay yung, uh, close na din door. Tapos, lock natin siya guys. So, lalock natin siya. Ayan. So, automatic nakalock na siya niyan. Hindi na natin siya mabubuksan. But then still, turbo timer is working right now. So, yan. Palak. So, yan. Palak na siya guys. Pantay na lang natin mag-off yung engine natin. No guys? Para sa, yan. Maririnig naman natin. After how many minutes uh, mamamatay na siya ng pusa. Right? So, I guess nasa ano na siya? More than one minute. Let's just wait for it para makita natin kung kaya siya ka-effective guys. So, nalock ko na siya 
Tanggal kay Susi, nalak ko siya. I was so happy about it. So, yun. Uh, makikita natin kung ano mangyayari. Let's wait para... Marinig natin ang shut off yung engine, guys. There you go. Ayun, guys. So, matay na siya. Ba? Patay na siya. So, here. Wala na. So, open ko siya ulit. Ayan. Alright. Ayan. So, automatically dineactivate niya na yung engine natin after 2 minutes sinet ko lang siya ng 2 minutes pero up to you guys kung gano'n nyo katagal siya ang gustong naka standby or naka idle right so <clears throat> so yun guys uh, uh, dito naman tayo sa timer niya so para malaman natin yung timer niya meron tayong dalawang program or timer 1 or timer 2 ito yung timer 1 so this is just this stands for yung desire natin na <clears throat> mag uh, idle yung engine natin to cool down for about 2 minutes right so pag prenas natin yung up it will change dun sa timer 2 so your choice halimbawa uh, magmamadali ka or something na Merong emergency. Yun ang purpose ng timer 2, guys. For example, something happens dun sa sa electronic system ng ating uh, uh, wirings or whatever sa car natin, sa charger, ganoon. Something happens, meron tayong uh, option 2, which is timer 2. In 10 seconds, it will going to uh, automatically turn off for about 10 seconds right so you press up lang timer 1 timer 2 press up ulit now gusto natin siyang palitan no palitan natin so punta tayo sa timer 1 right timer 1 press enter okay so nagbi blink na siya guys so all we need to do is press up or down so kung nagda down ka magmamay na siya mabababa yung timer so if you desire to put it on a 3 minutes 5 minutes whatever time you want pwede so 5 minutes alright then press uh, long uh, long press on the left side not necessary long press pero push mo lang siya very hard alright so pumasok na siya so check natin yung timer 2 10 seconds check natin yung timer 1 5 minutes alright so, kung pupunta tayo sa 10 seconds emergency uh, kill, kill uh, shut off gusto natin siya palitan press mo yung left alright press enter yeah. pero dahil pumunta siya sa timer 1 press mo yung right para pumunta siya sa timer 2 so papalitan mo siya ngayon press up 30 seconds 40 or 30 seconds yan. and then press left Ayan. so balik siya sa uh, timer 1 so press enter or left Ayan. so hindi na siya nagbibling guys so definitely or that means pumasok na siya so testing natin yung ano yung uh, yung timer niya in 30 seconds guys so Habang umaandar ka guys Nabawa For example yan Nang start na ako guys uh, Ito ang choice mo lagi Upper part You can choose 30 seconds Or 5 minutes For example Pinatay ko siya Right Automatically Your timer will start Once you uh, pull your key pull your key out alright so patayin ko yung uh, pull out ko yung key yan okay tapos pwede mo na siyang ilock yung key mo 
after mong i-shut yung door pero kung gusto mo mas mabilis press mo lang tong up guys in 30 seconds mamamatay siya right pero kung gusto mo siyang ibalik balik mo siya sa 1 right ganun lang siya kadali guys so since gusto ko siya ng 30 seconds yan let's wait for it Okay, so shut natin yung door Shut natin yung door And then Let's press the lock key button So how many minutes na lang yung ano So nakalock na siya guys Ayan, nakalock na siya Ayan siya nabuksan At nasa akin yung suse pero nako There you go, so yun Narinig nyo naman Within 30 seconds namatay na siya Alright, so open natin siya ulit Alright, so yun, matay siya, right? So 30 seconds. So no, I'm gonna change it naman for for my own standard. Yan. So, kanina, ginawa na siya 30 seconds. So, gagawin natin ngayon, babalik ko siya sa, sa desire time ko. So, let's say, timer 1, 5 minutes. So, let's go enter. Uh, left, long press sa left. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, palitan ko siya ng 2 minutes lang. Kasi gusto ko 2 minutes lang. Sobrang haba na sa akin yung 3 minutes or 5 minutes. Alright. So, okay na ako yan. Ten, uh, 2 minutes yon. Tapos, uh, timer 2 ko naman. Gusto ko siyang gawing... 10 seconds right so press ko lang yung left for confirmation yan so again timer 1 is 2 minutes yun yung primary natin primer 2 is 10 seconds yun 10 seconds right so yun guys uh, isa yun sa mga features ni turbo timer HK, HKS from Japan so right guys yan Start natin. There you go. <clears throat> See? And air clock. On. On. Number one. Having install lang yung Freon natin, guys. So, napakalamig. Ngayon, guys. Uh, another one is uh, maglalagay ako ng uh, screenshot. Uh, below or within the video video kasi ang manual ni HKS is Japanese so Japanese siya para makita nyo Ayan. manual niya is Japanese so you can't understand that pero lalagay ako ng screenshot dito kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng diagram niya na yan alright so once you open this box of turbo timer you're going to have the manual which is Japanese but uh na rin din siyang English uh sinosh ko siya kasi sa ano sa google Mas maganda kasi, eh, meron siyang English guys, meron siyang English ito. Pero hindi, hindi ka mukha nung isang diagram na Oricogus. Naka-drawing yung isang. Alright. Yan ang lock. Hindi ito kasi yung pinaka-diagram ni. Eh. Wala siya dun sa English manual. So, sinotch ko na yun for you guys para at least mas malino. So, see you next guys. See you next time for my next vlog guys. Keep it up, dude.